Okay guys, in this lesson, we will be learning how to create a simple game. So this game is all about some character flying around. There was will come in front of that character, which that character has to go aside. So this game is called Flying Tina. So let us start. Now first what we want to do is I think I want to change oh, some of these stuff. So I'm going to change that out and get you back. Good. So what I just did is I just made the walls a bit smaller because like a bit thinner because when the person wants to go he should be able to go aside from the wall right and if he touches the wall even a bit then he's game over. So that is why I had to make the walls a bit smaller and I also made these coins you can see a bit bigger. Good. So now let us add the code so that this character can move like this. So we will have to click on the character and I am going to click on this character. We have this blue color character it's actually a pyramid triangle and he can move like this only not like up and down see if i go to his code now but here what i've added is i got this is its model and i also added this trial kind of thing because that it's like that it's uh, uh this back part over there is going to be a glowing thing like this and then that's going to go around with it after that I want it to be able to move so that that is why I did I have this move and I also want it to be able to move when I touch it after that if it collides to the coin that I want then I want it to add a point and then if I uh, if it collides to those walls then it will die and then there will be a debris explosion which I made red color because our skin is our blood is red right that's why and then it's going to delay a, uh, for a bit of point it will stand like this only and after that the game over menu will come so that's what will happen after that I want it to be able to move when I click on my arrow key because I like to do that way I don't know I don't be able to do like touching because that's a bit hard for me and that, that is why uh, we cannot do a, a, a w like if the a w d s keys we cannot do that you just will be able to do arrow keys so then uh, so I added this one which will which I didn't add up and down because this guy will not be able to go up and down and just left and right so there will be more for this for way swipe and also this keyboard button which will be the keyboard button pressed so this is the whole logic I have added for my character and then let's add the logic for our coins because we need a point a logic for the coin right so this is my point now what will happen if it collides to my character then it will add a point and then if it is this and then when it collides it will also get removed because it has to disappear right that uh, that is going to give them that that uh, that coin is taken that kind of effect so that's the program for that and the debris is no program so i think this is what we want and um, now let me do some changes because we were uh, at the game over ui i want something to happen i want some good things in the game over ui right so let me do now you can see this is the game over screen now let me add some more things because it should show how many points you got now and how many points you got before which is the best points you got so let me add those two now you can see this is the best 10 current scores now let me add some more data like my name so you can see this is the whole game over screen now it's time to customize the 
start screen because I think the game was looking better than the start. So let's look at my start screen. So first let me look at the pause screen. So when you pause the game you want to be able to like do something over there, right? So in the pause screen you are going to get the you are going to get your score, how many scores you got and those. And I also want a pause option. I think I don't need a pause thing. What here else I think I need to do pause if I click on the pause button. If I add another kind of button like this then it's going to help it's too good now let me look at my start main screen and this is how i did it i think this is the button you click this is all i've done so i think that it is looking good for our game so now it is time to test my game so i'm going to catch you in the test so you can see this is how the start screen looks like. So now I'm going to click on this button to play. And good. Oh, I don't know how to play like that. Let me use my arrow keys. Okay, let me go front, front, front. Like this. Let me take that coin. Let me take this coin too. And then this coin. Let me take this coin and then go like this. Go like this. Okay, I'm not able to take those coins. Let me go this side. Let's take this. Good. And then let me go this side. Take this and then take... Oh, I was not able to take that. Bad. Good. Let's take that. I'm using my arrow keys. With arrow keys, I'm, I, I'll be able to do it very correctly. See, I got 16. And I'm going to... Oh... See now my best. Now let's see how the current works. So I got the best at 70. Now let's look at my current. So so what I'm going to do a oh I just didn't play. Let's go. Let me add. So if I over my so best, then it, that that over number is going to be the best. But if I get lesser than my best, then my current will be that. So I got three than my best. Yeah? Now let me try to get 7, 60, I mean, not 60, but uh, 20. I just lost my breath just with this game. I think that didn't work. So you can see that white glowing thing, that's the trial thing I told, right? Do you? I don't know why it's not coming. 11, 12, go side, take that, go side, take that, go middle, take that, take that, like let's go here, let me take that. So I got 23. Why I'm not getting this number? <laughs> so let me go 30 and then that's good. Oh, see now you can see my best mind. So that is how this game works. So I hope you like this game and I hope you enjoyed creating this game. So if you want to learn how to make this game in more detailed explanation, if you want to understand the logic of it more, then subscribe to my classes and I will see you next time. Bye!